to my channel um holly with another floss tube video for you for october um it really wouldn't be one of my videos if i didn't have a whole palava connecting my phone up to my laptop i have to do that because um if i actually do my videos on my phone so if i was to switch my phone around so i can see the screen so i can actually see everything um, everything that you'll be seeing will be back to front. So for example, if I lifted up something for you to see Heaven and Earth Designs, um, it would be all backwards and it just everything would be around the wrong way. So it's easier for me to just flip my phone around so that um, I'm looking at the back of my phone so that I don't see the screen. Um, so I have to have some kind of reassurance that anything I'm showing you is, is actually in shop. Um, it is currently 20 past four. I've been trying to sort this out since three o'clock um, and I need to remember to switch my firewall off on my laptop if I want to connect anything up. But we got there eventually. Um, the other reason why this is a little bit later than usual is because last month I got a new phone and for whatever reason the video just stopped working on it. Um, well, it wasn't not working. It was more of a case that I had a lot of background noise and a lot of, um, it was almost like white noise. I know it sounds bizarre, but my cat was ill last, um, last month and I was trying to actually get a video on him snoring. He, I think he had a bit of a cold as well. So he was snoring as well. And I tried to get a video of him, um, to send to my other half of him snoring because he was actually snoring louder than my other half. Um, and when I played it back, I had this white noise in the background and it was all a bit of a nightmare. And because I primarily use my phone for recording my videos, I needed to make sure that it was right. Anyway, long story short, they sent me a new phone literally the next day. And I said to the guy at the door, I haven't had any time to upload any of my, um, photos or my videos or anything like that into a backup system. I am completely useless when it comes to technology. So I had to decline that. I then went to Vodafone like the next day to get them to back up all of my data because I just am useless. And um, they did that all fine. And it's literally taken about two weeks to get my phone. So I wanted to obviously wait until I had my new phone to be able to do this video. And um, this time has just gone on and gone on and gone on. But I am back with some whips and um, I've got quite a lot of haul. I've gone a bit mad this month. Um, I've got a few new starts that I wanted to start. Well, I say a few, I've got one new start, but it's amazing. Um, and with that comes some haul. So um, what should I start off with first? I think, okay, let's start off with haul because everyone loves to see anything new that's been ordered. Um, I, I've got a list in front of me of what I've ordered just so I can remember and I've got so many because it's so dark I'm trying to get the light sorted out and I there is one light that is on the camera it, it didn't happen on my other phone I don't recognize it being there before but I've got a few lights shining and the light for my video is is literally in my eyes I've got a massive shining light for this video as well which is fantastic but when I look at the video where I'm supposed to look I get blinded so I keep going from there to my sheet of paper and I have to wait for my eyes to adapt because I can't see anything that's written on my paper so um the first thing that I ordered was oh right okay so um I am planning on doing a few more new starts in the new year and I generally get my DMC boxes, my floss boxes from Lakeside Needlecraft and lately I have found that whenever I order the boxes they're never in stock and it takes months and months sometimes for them to come in stock. So I've ordered them early even though I'm not planning on starting anything new now until probably new year but I ordered some of these so I've got I've got two of these so that's the first one and that one's the second one they're they're exactly the same um but they're just a, a DMC storage system that I can pop my floss into um so that is the first thing I ordered um okay so the second thing I ordered is um last I don't know if it's last month or the month before as you may know, or may not know, depending on whether you watch my videos, I generally use CXE thread for all of my Heaven and Earth designs and, and all of my um, stitching. I just prefer the coverage, it's personal opinion, and I find that I can um, basically floss 
um, a little kit up, a CXC, um, a, what do you call it? A super size max color chart for like 30 quid instead of what would probably be about three to 400 pound if I was using DMC. So I had them, I had all of these flosses in my, in a big box because I, I ordered the full set from factory shop on AliExpress. And every time that I needed to get a new floss, I would have to go through the whole entire box. Um, they were just literally all bunged in this box, all in one, the box was about yay big. So I decided to purchase um, one of these beauties. I've actually got a few um, of these because I've got um, a lot of rubbish under my bed that I'm trying to sort out. It's just full of books and papers and uh, yarn and cross stitch kits that I probably never end up doing. Um, and I just wanted to get rid of all of that rubbish under my bed and get it organized. But I thought it'd be really good to have one of these boxes for to keep actually all of my cross stitch stuff in. So I have done what I normally do and have a box and a box and a box. <laughs> um, so in, in here, I've actually got this box, which is the one that you have seen previously that's all, it's got all of my floss in. However, it takes me God knows how long to try and find um, one floss colour. So now what I have decided to do is purely because it bugs the hell out of me every single time I'm trying to find one colour floss is I have compartmentalised my floss into these bags. So this one will show that I've got, um, I don't know if you can see, 800 to 996. So I know that everything in this bag is from DMC number 800 to 996. Anything in this one is 3,800 plus. Um, anything for this one is um, 1 to 500. So you get the gist. So basically, whenever I'm looking for a certain colour, I go to one bag and literally that is it. I'm, I'm not going through the whole entire box, but it's just, just becoming an absolute ball ache. So I decided that um, I needed some organisation in my life and um, put everything into those Ziploc bags and I tell you what, it's, it's a game changer. <laughs> when you're trying to find certain flosses, it's just, oh, I can't close that now, it is just a game changer. Um, but I've got so much in here that I can't even close it now. Hold on one second. I need to, I actually need it, I was actually looking for like a bigger box but I didn't want anything too massive. So I thought if I find everything in these bags and then I can keep them in this box. But I don't know how many I've got. I know that I've got, I have bought two sets of the full um, DMC set of CXC threads from Factory Shop. So taking that into consideration and with, um, I've got, so this one is, or this is basically ornamental stitch. So there is one of my, I don't know if I've got it here, one of my other projects that I've bought that I'm probably not going to do until a new year is this one here. But because I had all the CXC threads, I decided to kind of kit that out. So I know that I think by maybe one or two, um, all of my floss for that kit is there. Um, and then I have done the same for alternative reality. I tend to do it when I actually bobinate, because I'm a big bobinator, when I bobinate my um, kits, I tend to do it page by page because I love bobinate. I love um, bobbins, but I hate bobinating them. And um, for me, I just find it a lot easier if I can do it page by page because it just isn't so, I don't know, it's not such a big thing to do all at once. So I'm going to put all that in there. And then we are going to close that up. Sorry for all the noise. And then I can probably get rid of that actually off of my desk because that's taken up a huge amount. So this box is amazing. I'm, this is such a good buy. I'm so glad I bought that. Right. So um, that was... 
so that was um because i wanted to get organized so i i bought that um dmc craft ring okay so i don't know if you remember i don't know if it was the second or the third video of my videos i decided that i wanted to do the um twisted band sampler which is this one however um i wanted to do it in variable thread and i bought i bought all of the variable threads that i was going to again these are all in boxes i just love tupperware boxes i've got like a massive thing for them so i have got lots and lots of threads let's see if i can get them out um in the colors that i wanted to do this twisted band sampler in um i'm just gonna see if i can get them out so you can have a look got that one got that one okay bear with caller okay so i don't know how i'm going to be able to do this because there's so many of them I'm doing like a pack of cards, I guess. So I, I tried to match up roughly. I'll put those in my other hands. Um, I hope you can see that. Um, I tried to match up roughly the colours that were in the Twisted Band Sampler. Um, and after I did, I started the Sans Souci in the variable thread because I originally, um, going back to again, I think in my second or third video, I started the Sam Susi Long Dog Sampler in variable thread and I've actually got it here. I decided that I just really didn't like it purely because I didn't like the way that the design was coming out. I found it, oh, it's here anyway. I found it too liney so this was the start of my long dog sampler. Oh, hang on. There we go. So can you see like here, uh, no, here, um, how liney it is? It's just, I don't know, I just really don't like it. So then I thought, oh, okay, I'm not too sure if I really want to now do the Northern Expressions um, Twisted Band Sampler in the same thread. Now, those threads came from Australia, so they cost a pretty penny, but now I'm probably not going to end up using them unless I use them in a different project. But um, I decided last minute that because I am over 50% on my grey spaces, which I will show you in a second, that I was going to treat myself and I was going to start... Um, the twisted band sampler but decided last minute to swap out the variegated threads for the um Olvera Soir, the d'alger Olvera Soir silks that it basically suggests to come with it so i bought i went on to london bead company and i tried to get every single color that i needed for this and there were a couple of colours that they didn't do. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I much prefer to go to a shop that sells all of them and I can get them all at the same time. So I went to 123 Stitch in the States and I ordered all of the silks that I needed. And then I realised that they're not going to be here for like weeks, maybe months. And because I've got quite a few whips I'm doing at the moment, I thought, why don't I just order the few colours that I need just to start it? And then in the meantime of me starting it, the um, the rest of the threads will end up coming through the postal system. I obviously chose the best time to um, to have things sent, didn't I? Which is when the uh, American, <laughs> American elections are happening. So there's probably about 150 million ballots going in posts and things like that. So... Um, even if it does 
generally on, on a norm take a couple of weeks I think it's going to be more like months before I get them so I went back to London um, Bee Company and I purchased some of these actually do you know what? I'll take them out of the bags um Olvera Soir threads and I have started using them um but I will I will show you that when I do my whips um bear with one second so I've got, oh, got itchy nose. I've got a few of these but I don't want to um, get too many out because they're all bagged up with numbers so I know what numbers they are so I have obviously started using that one but that's two of them and then I've got um, one in here as well and then I've got the light pink which is oh, excuse me but itchy nose which is the first the first color you use and then a slightly light a slightly darker and then you go to sort of a much darker red and then I think you go to like this burnt orange color so I've got um I've got the start of the colors so that I can actually start this project I'm just gonna get them in the right place so that's really exciting um again they're really expensive but you know what I just thought just get them because you know I've wanted to do this for a long time and I've had I've got quite a few big whips that I've got going on at the moment and unfortunately they are big big ones so I don't really have a hell of a lot of time having said that I have just been furloughed from my job again yay so I've got much more stitchy time that I can do um but yeah so I'm absolutely loving, loving working with these threads at the moment and I will show you when I do my whips how far I've got. But I did see back on one of Teresa Little Stitcher's videos that she said that there were two colours that she ran out of because she was doing two over two on 28 counts um, for this one, even though the 28 count asked for one thread. But after I saw her completed project, I must say the depth of colour that you get from using two strands was just gorgeous. And I think she ran out of uh, one, four, two, three and one, four, two, two. So I've got two of these just in case. So that one, the other one of that one's coming from the States. Um, but I've got, you know, two of these that the London Bead Company had in stock. They didn't have this one in stock, but they had this one. So these are in, again, I've got bags and bags and bags, the same as boxes and boxes and boxes. But yes, so I'll keep all those separate so I know where they're from. So the, I've got a, I don't know, I've lost it, a DMC, the, you know, one of those rings. I can't see anything. Every time I look at the camera, I get blinded. Um, yeah, so I bought one of those DMC rings. So instead of bobbinating these, because I don't really want to waste a whole box on, I think I've got like, I think there's like 15 threads, colours. What I've decided to do is um, pop them in these little bags. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll puncture a hole in one of these bags and I'll put them on the ring so they can all stay together. So that hasn't arrived yet, but that should be coming through the post shortly. So that was my beautiful thread that I purchased. The other the other lot haven't arrived yet, as I've just said, but I'm hoping it won't be. Hoping it'll be weeks rather than months. You never know. So the next thing I purchased was the fabric. So I can't show you it because it's currently on my um, frame to be able to, because I'm using it. Um, but I got, I decided to get 28 counts um, and I love the Sparkle Snow. So I got this again in the Even Weave 28 Count Sparkle Snow. And in the, before I decided to work on that one, I also bought another 32 count um, Sparkle Snow. However, with this one, um, I am very conscious of size. Now, um, there are certain things in life where size does actually matter. And I much prefer to have bigger projects. I have got quite a lot of wall space to fill in my house in the States. And um, 
I love projects that are nice and big and bold and um, that you can have a nice frame on and, and you know, they're, they're a statement. And I think the only reason why I decided not to do this on the 13 to 32 count, there's two reasons. One is because I love how one over two looks on the 32 count because I'm doing a long log sampler and you'll, I'll show you that in a bit. I just think it looks really smart and really neat and I wonder if using two strands would make it look a bit too bulky. So I decided that I wanted to definitely use two strands because I thought two strands would make it just the colour pop and I thought if I used 28 count A it would be a slightly big project and also um, it wouldn't look so bulky, the thread wouldn't look so bulky and it's turning out amazing and I'll show you that in a bit. But I got some more um, fabric for that. So, as well as that fabric, I was looking at doing this project, which actually I was gonna do beforehand, but there is a reason why I haven't started this one. So this is um, the Cricut Collection, um, Winter by Cricut Collection, and the fabric for this I originally bought in no, 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 no. Hang on. It, this is a Zweigart 32 count Murano so I got this fabric from eBay I believe to do on this for this project and although the fabric is stunning I just wondered if it was just a bit too blue. I wanted to have a very slight blue project, but I just didn't want it to be too blue. I didn't want the colour blue to sort of take over the project. So I decided that I wasn't going to use this fabric for the Cricut Collection Winter project. I have since purchased from um, Chromatic Alchemy, which also hasn't arrived yet. Um, some really beautiful, it's kind of a mottled blue, it's like a blue and grey-ish mottle, um, but it's not too, it's not too in your face, it's very understated, it's there, you can, you can see it, but it's not too, it doesn't take dominance over the, over what would be the stitch project. Um, that I've done, I've ordered in, um, oh, is it opalescence? I know that's the wrong word. But basically, the same as the white fabric that I've ordered with the sparkle, I've also ordered in that colour. And I think the colour is called, um, I want to say it's cumulitis, cumulitis. It's very difficult to try and say, but that's the colour. So I think that would look really nice for um, this project. However, until until that fabric <clears throat> excuse me until that fabric arrives i can't actually start this as a project so that's why i decided that i would start on the twisted band sampler so then i obviously ordered the silks for that so um what was the other thing i ordered i have also got some more needle minders i love needle minders and as it's christmas I thought that I would get a Christmas needle minder. Um, one of the other ones is on this project. I'll just grab it now. Okay, so I quite like matching up my needle minders to my projects. So the other um, Cricut Collection one that I love is called, um, it's got something to do with carrots but it's, it says love. And I thought that this needle minder, when I start doing that, I'll probably end up doing that in February because it's more, I like to do my projects in keeping with the seasons and what's going on. So um, that one I'll probably do around February time. So this is the needle minder that I bought for that one. And this is from Denke Designs. And I tend to always get all of my needle minders from her because I love bling, I'm a real blingy person, and all of her, pretty much most of her needle minders, um, or a lot of her needle minders, are made with rhinestones. 
so <coughs> excuse me to go with the winter um cricket collection project that i want to start i bought this one and i'm actually using that on one of my projects at the moment oh hang on hence um it not being connected to a piece of um cardboard because <laughs> i'm already using it but i just thought how beautiful is that that's absolutely gorgeous really really blingy so i've got that one um i also have a christmas one i mean you know we're coming into the christmas season and you really can't go wrong with a a christmas needle minder how cool is that don't you think that's just like the coolest needle minder so i'll have to figure out a project for that because i like to color coordinate as well as seasonally as well as coordinating seasonally i like to color coordinate my um, needle minders and um i was looking at a there was a project that um Teresa little stitch was doing it was a santa um is it like white christmas santa by um Oh, what is the name? It's a, um, it is gone. Give me one second. I will come back in a second. Okay, so it was, let me just see if I can find it. Mm -mm. Oh gosh, so I've got, I've got obviously my new phone and um, I've got my old phone still. But all of my apps are in different places on my old phone. Um, you know what, you're going to laugh when when you realise what I've forgotten. Hang on. White Santa. I think it's called White Santa. Or is it Win? Hang on. I think it's M. Oh, here we go. Mirabilia. That's the word I couldn't think of. Mirabilia. Um, I don't know why I didn't know that. I should have known that. <laughs> so I was looking at doing uh, Mirabilia, uh, White Santa, and I'll probably end up doing that. I don't know. I've got so many projects on. I don't know whether to do that next year because I've already got like a wintry, Christmassy project that I want to start in around December, which is the winter from Cricut Collection. Um, so I'll probably use that one on the um, the Santa, on the Mirabilia, probably next year. But it will be used. And then the other one I bought, which I thought was really super cute. Um, keeping In keeping with my sea creatures, because I've got a starfish, I've got two whales, um, I have got a seahorse. Um, what else have I got? Seahorse. Oh, and a crab. Um, and I thought, okay, well, this is different. This is like a little octopus. Um, and again, blingy, rhinestone-y, really beautiful. So I'm kind of collecting the sort of, you know, the sea creature uh, needle miners, but I thought that was really cute. So they are the needle miners I bought. And with Denkai Designs, you always tend to get a couple of freebies. So I got um, this one here. And I've got that one there. Um, that's upside down. I don't know if the other one was upside down. Probably. There we go. <laughs> That's the right way up. Um, which is really cute because, you know, if there's any other projects that aren't focals, you can always stick those on there. So I've got those in a little bag at the moment until I need to use them. I'm actually thinking about doing... So I saw on uh, on YouTube, on FlossTube, someone was doing a hard hanger uh, from Loopy Loo Designs and it was a box and I've never done a hard hanger before. I don't know if I can trust myself cutting the material, but um, on this, this particular one, it was like a, a little box um, and it was a really, really pretty pattern on top. It was kind of like a greeny and a purple colour. And I thought that that might be really good to try and keep uh, all my needle minders in. You know, I need something that's like pretty and boxy and um, I don't know, just something that's trinkety and pretty. Um, 
because I don't really like keeping them, you know, all in together in, in just a bag that I can't zip. I'm just struggling to zip lock it. There we go. So it didn't all fall out. Yeah, I just find that, you know, they're so nice and they're so pretty that I feel like I need to put them in, you know, they warrant safekeeping in a nice box. So I think I might look at doing that maybe next year. Um, bearing in mind next year, hopefully March, April time, depending on what happens in the States, I don't know really what's going to happen with now Biden's president. Um, I don't know whether he's going to put the whole country on a lockdown. Uh, I know when Trump was president, he he's still done it. He's still got a travel ban on the UK traveling to America, whether that's going to be lifted or, or what. Um, I don't know. But the plan is to have my immigration lawyer file um, something with the, with the embassy to say that we need extenuating circumstances to actually start building the barn and everything because we've got a business that we're opening up next year and and we really need to get out there because we need like you know a good six to eight weeks to start building so um once we start obviously building my well i say that i say my stitchy time will be hard but will it though because we're only going to be building whilst we've got sunlight so in the summer yes it might be until you know nine ten o'clock at night but in the winter i don't know how long it's going to take you know i really don't you know if if for example the light goes at say six o'clock i'll have like the evening to stitch which is something that i don't have at the moment when i'm back at my other job because i've got two jobs one that i do really super early in the morning like seven o'clock until twelve o'clock and then the other one is like three or four until ten or eleven o'clock at night so there is there isn't even a window in the afternoon that I can stitch because I've got my horse. So I actually probably would have more time, realistically. So I could actually start that project. I could start that next year and not really have an issue. But anyway, so moving on. Um so the I forgot to mention the cricket collection. This I got this from a company called Art and Design, which is online. Um, and they've got lots, they're, um, they're a company in the UK and they have got so many projects, so, so many. And they also do the, um, the, is it the White Santa by Mirabilia? But as well as doing the pattern, what they also do is give you a list of all the floss that you need and all the beads, cause there's beadings as well. And, um, you've got like treasure braid and lots of other different, um, quirky, flosses that you can use but you can tick exactly what you need so I can switch out the DMC floss for my CXC and then I can just tick all the beads that I need and they'll send the pattern with all the other and all the other bits and bobs that I need to be able to um to be able to complete the project I have seen some really nice fabric on chromatic alchemy which is again it's a, an opales opalescence I'm just gonna say opal you know what I mean and it's like a it almost looks like a stormy fabric you know if you think about um stormy clouds like the gray and the white and um it's really nice it's not too in your face but again i think that project would look amazing on that fabric and i've i have never done a mirabilia before so I feel like I just want to put the, push the boat out a little bit with my skill set and um, and try something else. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll see how I'll see how I feel with that. Um, but I need to get on top of my projects first. So I think that is pretty much it for all of my haul. Oh, Where is what? 32 cabaret, yeah, 28 count fabric, blue fabric, needle miners. Yes. So now my haul is done, I will go on to my whips. So I'm not going to do this in any particular order. I'm just going to do it in the order that I have in my sheets. So as you can see, this is Grace Faces. Um, this is one I've been working on since February. I finally hit over 50% and I did always say that once I hit over 50% on one of my projects and I can start another one. Um, this one is being done on 18 count, two over one, full cross. 
um just going back to my i've gone back to my i've gone back to my kiki k planner i know you can see that is basically what i i know you can't really see it because my writing is so tiny um but this is what i keep all of my information in let me see if i can get a bit closer so i don't know if you can read any of that my writing is super super small but i've always had small writing so i've gone into like journaling and um and with journaling i've got some lots of stickers and lots of um, washi tape and um and one of the stickers that i've got is like the days of the month days of the month the months um and so i've decorated this one you can see you've got like october and then i've got some washi tape along the top um just decorating a little bit you know just making it a bit more interesting and i love doing that i just i love it and every time i open up this planner to you know put something in with um my project that i've worked on it just makes me feel so happy um but grace faces i have worked on four let's have a look one two see that i haven't managed to stitch a lot last month purely because of doing like 15 million jobs so i worked on that for two days and i did 556 stitches and uh, so this one so this is where you saw it last and this is where we are now so i started sort of coming down this this area here i'm gonna start working along um, whenever I work sort of along this area, I always fill in the blanks um, with any stitches that are needed uh, in the main body because there are still a few. Um, but I, um, this has been worked on, uh, I think Zweigart actually, 18 count, two over one. And I love the colours. I mean, this is CXC thread and look at those colours. They're just stunning. They're so vibrant and beautiful and you know what i know people say that oh you know they're not exact but they're pretty close they are pretty close and in fact you can have dmc threads that are you know the same color but different dye lots and they'll be completely different so it doesn't always mean um you know that you have to stick to this um, to dmc and i've said this before and i'll say it again i think the cxc thread is so far superior than DMC. I find DMC so like stringy and weak and it breaks easily and thin. And um, what I love about the CXC is the coverage is amazing on two over one on 18 count. But also if you've got a project that maybe takes a one over one, for example, um, or one over two on like a 32 count fabric, it looks amazing. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, so that is number, project number one. Um, project number two is this one here, which is my story keep life is an open book. And this one I am doing on 25 count one over one. And for this one, I worked on it one, two, I think I feel like. I worked on it more than two days or maybe I didn't I think I worked on it but actually on the two days I worked on it I actually did you know do a decent amount so this is where you saw it last month and this is where we are now so um hang on there we go so i've come more down here um i've got a lot more oh, come on from underneath actually i've got a lot more here um and up there and you know this one's coming along i'm starting to fall back in love with it again um i've got my needle i've got my needle minder down the bottom so hang on let me move my needle minder because this needle minder is so cute Okay, so 
see what it's saying about color coordinating my needle miners so i've got this one here which is my gorgeous little crab and then my whale oh no it's not a whale is it as an octopus <laughs> a whale is an octopus i think it's because i've seen needle minders that are whales but no this is a cute little blue octopus which kind of goes in with this color and then obviously this crab kind of goes in with this red um i don't know why i've got two needle minders on there but i think it's probably because i don't have anywhere to keep them at the moment so i'm if i keep them on my projects then they're safe but yeah that's um it's that one's coming along um i am enjoying how that's that's coming and um this is being done on 25 count one over one full cross i do all of my projects on full cross i don't really like 10 stitch but that's a completely personal opinion i think it's just just me i, I don't know why i just feel like they're like half completed when they're which is ridiculous because they're not um but anyway that's just personal opinion so I did, how many stitches did I do? I did 506 stitches, which actually seems, for the amount that I've done, doesn't really seem like a lot, but maybe it is, I don't know. There was a lot of filling in the blanks, I think, with that one as well, um, especially at the top. I had quite a few stitches in there that, you know, I had to fill in. Um, but yeah, so that is that one. Um, the next one is one of my favorites which is alternative reality um and that one is this project here um so alternative reality is being done again 18 counts two over one full cross um so this is where you saw it last month And this is where we are this month. I don't know. Okay. So this, hang on, I've got to hold it properly. This here is a full page. So I'm not actually at a full page yet, but I'm starting to kind of sort of fill in the middle. Um, love working on this one. Again, my needle minder that kind of goes with the color um really beautiful i just i just love heaven and earth designs and i love working on a frame i'm really struggling with working on q snaps i find that i'm constantly having to like wind them just to kind of keep my material taut um but i don't tend to have to do that on a frame so i just find frames a little bit easier so that is that one and i worked on that one one two i can't even see I literally i do even i do struggle with my um my writing because it is so small um so i'm gonna get my glasses out okay so i worked on that one one two two days by the looks of it and i did five no i didn't i did 768 so that was obviously a good stitchy day i did 768 stitches for that one um the next one is uh okay so i I think the month before last I started doing I told you that I started doing some more bookmarks one has been successful um, and I'm not doing too badly on that one the other one I've completely cocked up <laughs> and decided not to do anymore because actually I don't like how the designs coming out anyway um, and I, I have done too much to start unpicking it so the first one that I cocked up <laughs> was this one here um i think you can i don't know where it is yeah so here can you see that from there to there is not i think it was eight stitches or ten stitches 
um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's eight stitches, but it had to be ten. So my lines, my, not my lines, but the amount of stitching I've done is um, is off. So I would have to have unpicked all of this just to create correct this bit. Um, I will show you what it looked like last month. I'll put the picture up now. However, I am not going to do any more of that because I'm actually not enjoying stitching on it. I don't like how the design's coming out. Um, you know, for something like a bookmark, I think the design is just too bulky. It's just too, um, it's too much. So I decided not to progress on that one. But I haven't started another bookmark yet. I don't know if I, I will because I, I recently uh, received my um, order from Simply, is it Simply Planner? Emily Lay and within the bundle I also got like a bookmark so I'm just going to use that at the moment so I don't actually have to, to work on that one. This one however, um, which was going to be a gift, is still going to be a gift um for sort of christmas time i'm still working on still love working on it still love the colors um i'll show you what it looked like last month and this is what it looks like now um again matching the needle winder you know with the colors just love the colors in this and actually you can see the colors in this with the light so much better um, really really gorgeous so I'm doing this one one over two on 32 count one over two 32 count yeah and um, I'm just love I love how that's coming out really really beautiful so last month I spent um, one, two, three days. I spent three days on the bookmark. So I spent two days on this blue one and then I spent one day on the pink one until I realized that I had completely cocked up and then I ended up stopping. So I've put that one to bed and I won't pick that one up again because I hate frogging. So I'm definitely, definitely not gonna pick that one up again. It'll probably just go in the trash. Which is a shame because I, I did spend quite a lot of time on it. But you know what? It's it's not right. I don't like it. I don't like the design. So with me, I, I have such little time to stitch that I, I just tend to stitch what I'm, you know, enjoying at the time. Okay, so my next one is this beauty. So this is um Bountiful Bookshelf um, by Amy Stewart. And this is a another heaven and earth design. And I'm stitching this one on 18 count two over one um i finished a page on this one already and i'm actually because this is in the q snap but you can't really see can't see anything of it in the q snap i'm going to take it out the q snap so just bear with one second i find sometimes the q snaps slightly impossible to get out especially when I put some so instead of like me ruining my fabric and also to for for this to um I find that the the Q snap that I've got if I just put it on the material then I find that it just um it goes really slack really quick it doesn't hold the the, the um, tension so what I do is I put this rubber thing underneath which is amazing, but then you can't get the bloody snaps off for love no money. So that's two. So I've only got it on, you know, two sides. But um, it's like nearly impossible. To, oh, here we go. I have to kind of slide it and then, and then pull it off when I get on a side. You also really don't want to ruin your work by getting these off. Okay, so so this is where you saw it last month.
and this is where we are this month there is so much material this is such such a huge project i'm doing this with the um 18 count um two over one full cross and this is a the super size max color so this is where we are now hang on let me just untwist it then it so i have to put all of my excess look how much excess material is in this it's like absolutely ridiculous but i have to keep it in a pillowcase to keep it you know clean right so there we are so that is what i've done on that one so this is one um, page and i'm pretty much halfway through the other one um i don't know if i can pull that out so that you can see it properly there we go is that better it's just this ends where it's all How does that look? Hang on. So I need to let me sort out where I am in the camera. Uh, there we are. Okay. So yeah, I mean it's it's coming along, most definitely. I have got ninety seven pages, <laughs> ninety seven or ninety six pages um, to do on this one. So it's gonna be a long process. But you know what? By um, twenty seventy six, I might be there. I'm just gonna stick these on here a second, and then I will once I start on that project again, I'll pop this, the the key snaps back on it. But yeah, I'm not. Oh, I just I really don't like using key snaps for my projects because I just find them absolutely nightmare to get off. However, um. There is not a hope in hell unless I had one made of getting a frame big enough because this thing is like, I think it's going to end up being about a metre, maybe a metre and a half in width. Um, so I just can't get a frame big enough for that. So I spent uh, one, two, three days. I spent three days on that one and I did 824 stitches so again those three days that was that was a good stitch time I was almost a thousand stitches which is really really good um yeah absolutely loving it in fact I think it really helped that whilst I was stitching that one I was watching a really good series on um, well it's on BBC it's on BBC iPlayer so my American friends are not going to be able to see it but um, it's called Line of Duty and it's about AC12 which is um, the corrupt uh, the corruption um, department within police to make sure that you know there isn't any well, it's basically anti-corruption in the police so um, you've got like 100 million police officers or whatever on the, on the beat and you need to make sure that they're adhering to the rules they're not you know doing anything they shouldn't do so we've we've got a whole team of people that are involved with anti-corruption within the police force um and they're all true stories and oh my god it's just it was brilliant it's exhilarating and i couldn't stop watching it so i was i was absolutely glued to um well i watch everything on my laptop i was i was so glued to my laptop that i just did so much stitching it was just fantastic so the next one that I'm going to show you is my long dog sampler and this one I, I showed you earlier that I decided to change last minute because I just didn't like how it was coming out and I have changed this one from 32 count to over two um, using the variable thread. I actually changed the colour as well um to this beautiful i think it's 327 it's called um yeah i think this one is uh is 327 um and i'm doing this one two over one over two sorry i've just dropped my magnet for my needle minder so my needle minder's come off bear with one second let me just sort this out um yeah so i'm doing this one 32 count one over two and I really love how it's coming out. So this is where you saw it last month.
and this is where I am with it this month again another one on a frame and this again is being done on um, the sparkly snow so this is a 32 count um, Zweigar, uh, even weave I think this is and I'm doing this one over two but I just love it how beautiful is that just gorgeous so that's coming along I did a bit more on that this month just because once I started working on it, I actually quite enjoyed working on it. It was brilliant. And I, for that one, I did um, one, two, only two days. Oh, okay, I only did two days on that, but I did 803 um, stitches this month. So those two days were really good days because, you know, I did over 400 stitches. So that's all right, isn't it? Um, oh, I forgot to show you actually what it is I'm doing. It's this one here. Um, this is like the long dog sampler. Sans Suisi, it's called. Should have shown you that first. Does help. And you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so enjoying doing that one. And the last but by all means not least is this new one that i've said to you that i've started it's the um twisted band sampler i'm doing this on 28 counts um two over two look at those colors they are stunning and i'm doing this using the um overassoir threads i just thought you know it'd be nice to do something different and <clears throat> I haven't obviously got anything to show you from last month, but this is where we are now. This is how much I've done. How gorgeous is that? Again, I'm doing this one on um, Sparkle Snow. I just love Sparkle. I love, love, love Sparkle. So I've done two colours so far. But you know what? I am kind of going through that really quick because I love doing it. I think I worked on that two days. Yeah, I think I worked on that two days. But I've been really enjoying it. I've absolutely loved it. So I've kind of just, you know, stuck at it and, and got through a lot. But um, yeah, so that is the last of my projects. I don't think I'm going to start anything new this year she says I just I got to the point where you know my other projects are coming along really well I don't know how far into my story keep I am but you know I think I've got I think I'm like a third into it so you know I haven't got a huge amount to do um I'm over halfway with my grace faces and um I just I don't know sometimes you want to do something different don't you you want to start something new um I did originally want to do the winter um by the um cricket collection because i thought that would be nice and it'd be like a small project that isn't going to take up too much time because i am very aware that i haven't got a a an fo <laughs> um and that every single month it's whip after whip after whip so i thought okay if i do a small project then maybe after two months i'll get an fo um but yeah that's not happening because i think I think the fabric's going to take a good um, few months to, to get to me. Now we're on lockdown again. I don't know how much Sam from Chromatic Alchemy is going to be able to do in that time. Um, I mean, I can I can't imagine actually lockdown would affect her much other than trying to get hold of materials because you know she can do that from home. She hasn't got to physically go to an office to to do all the fabric dye. She can actually do that from home and send it to people so I, I don't know i don't i don't think she would need to close but i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on um so i'm looking at probably a good sort of 10 to 12 weeks delivery turnaround time on that um so as soon as that comes in i will show you and um i will probably end up starting that because i know what i'm like i just get really uh, impatient and i love new starts there's just there's nothing nicer than putting the first stitch on a blank canvas, you know, a blank fabric um, that you are ready to see build. It's just, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's like reading a brand new book. I love opening up the first page of a brand new book. 
anyway um that is me done that is everything i need to tell you about this month that is my whips and my haul um <clears throat> nothing new really is going on in my life other than i've been furloughed again which is not a bad thing for me because i just see it as being stitchy time um i get to spend more time with my horse although the weather has been really rubbish at the moment so i'm not really doing much of that um but yeah just just enjoying the time that i've got off to myself and um hopefully next month will be a should be a really good month for whips because i i have the time after work that i can just you know stitch all day it's lovely so i hope you've enjoyed the video um thank you to all of my subscribers it's absolutely amazing that people are subscribing to my channel i just i didn't expect it and actually it's really funny because i posted something on oh actually i was going to show you something actually um completely not stitch related but i do have a finished object <clears throat> but it isn't cross it isn't cross stitch related this is diamond painting related now I know this isn't, you know, this isn't um, a diamond painting video. However, some of you, if you if you're interested in diamond painting, I know that some people that do cross stitch do diamond painting as well. They kind of come hand in hand because the DMC codes and everything sort of, you know, it's it's similar. Um, and actually, the projects you do diamond painting, they they tend to kind of work up a lot quicker. Um, but I thought it'd be really nice to show you a project that I've just finished and this one is it so this is a beautiful let me see if I can I might, have to, I might actually have to stand up for this one and go back a little bit so this is something I've been working on for the last few months there it goes better isn't it um, and it's purple flower I've got another one which is kind of similar but different um and this is a 60 by 60 diamond painting can you see the sparkle i don't know if you can see the sparkle very well i mean you've had it's absolutely beautiful um but yeah so this is another finished project so although i've got my diamond paintings that i'm doing on my channel that are the time lapse um that wasn't a time lapse um diamond painting but it was one of the ones that i was trying to finish in the background and um i have really really enjoyed doing it i've, I've absolutely loved doing it and um and now i've completed it i'm like so happy so i thought i would show you just because it is just so pretty but yeah so the other one i've got sort of two that are sort of same but different and they are going to go into my guest room above the bed they're both 60 by 60 centimeters and um it is they are a customs i get my custom diamond paintings from row diamonds i always use her i've never ever had an issue with um you know what i'm going to tell you about something in a second because i've just thought about it did you see that kind of flick in my mind i was like oh my god so i've never ever run out of drills with row diamonds ever and I'm going to tell you a story that is going to, it actually has given me goosebumps. It's freaking me out. So behind me on my bookshelf, if I go that side, can you see all of those, um, <clears throat> all of those planners? Oh, I don't know where my finger is. Oh, do you know what? I'm really rubbish. <laughs> anyway, those over there, my planners, <laughs> I've got them all, all stacked up. I've got, I'm a massive planner fan and I, I love planners and um, I think my other half thinks I've got some kind of psychological issue um, because I love planners and, um, you know, I collect them like I, I collect, I don't know what some people collect stamps. I don't know. And <clears throat> I was doing my diamond painting last night. No, I was doing my diamond painting. I was doing it last night as well and today. But I was doing it, I've been doing it sort of quite a lot in the evenings. And over the last week, I have been trying to find my bag of um, drills. So I put all of my drills in the little boxes. I've got them here. Um, how have I got them here? Where's my drill box? I will show you. Give me one second. Uh, oh, I don't know where my drill box is.
anyway if you go to if you go to one of my other videos um they will they, i've got some organize organizational videos and um and you'll be able to see um my my drill setup so basically what i do when i organize all my videos is i put all of my drills um into the little sort of containers and i will fill those up and then if i've got any extra i will just put them in one of these little ziploc bags um i'll put the name of of what it is this one is um the purple flower um and i know that this is ds1035b so i know which painting these relates to um, and I'll put them in this little bag. Now, when you get a diamond painting, you get um, a full inventory on all of the um, symbols and the DMC codes and how many how many you have. And actually, she puts on there as well how many bags you should have, which is fantastic because you can say, right, okay, well, 151, I've got three bags of those. 169 I've got one bag of those 451 I've got seven bags anyway so I will put all of the um all of these drills into um all, all of the boxes and depending on how how much of them I've got I mean some of them I've got like 10 bags so 10 bags of these are not going to go into one of my little boxes so what I then do is I put them into a little ziploc bag and every single time I come to um running out of my drills I will just top them up as in, as I'm gonna need them so I have been looking for this absolutely everywhere for weeks because I knew that somewhere I had this bag of my spare drills because I'd run out of 3865 3857 and there were v5 and I needed to top those up because I was getting sort of I was coming to the end of my diamond painting but I probably had about a strip of like this much that I needed to do and um, I was literally running out. So I, I turned, and, and this is always over there by my, by my um, bookshelf. And I turned my, this room upside down. I had all my boxes out. I had everything from under the bed out. I had my whole entire bookcase out. I had my spare room turned over because my spare room is where I keep all my boxes of drills and my crochet stuff and you know, all my other diamond paintings. And I went just absolutely nuts turning it over and over and over. And I was just looking for this bag everywhere. In the end, I messaged Sam from Ray Diamonds and I said to her, like, I'm really sorry, I've run out of these colours. Um, and she said, you know, Sam's amazing. She's like, okay, that's fine. Just let me know sort of how many bags you need and we'll send them to you. No questions asked. Not She didn't say, oh, that's really odd. I always, you know, give you enough bags. So I don't know why you've run out. Have you lost them? There was none of that. It was like, okay, that's fine. You've run out of them. I'll get them to you as soon as possible. Just let me know what DMC colours you need and how many bags. So I messaged her a couple of days ago about this. And I have had my planner back and um, off and on and off and on my bookcase for literally the last few days because I've been doing a lot of journaling. And tonight, when I went to get my get this journal or get my planner so I could do this with you um off my bookcase this was just lying on top of my bookcase on top of my planner now I can tell you now that this bag was not on there at all over the last few days and um and I spoke to my other half I was like have you moved anything have you touched any bags of anything have you did you you know I was looking for my drills did you kind of find them and put them on my bookcase and just not tell me and he was like no I don't know what you're talking about I was like well this bag of drills like literally this bag of drills I've been trying to find for ages and he's like no no I know no but I haven't I haven't seen them I've not touched them and the planner that I've, that these were on top, I've taken off my bookcase um, to like, you know, journal and then put back and then take off and put back because I, I also write down um, daily what I, how many um, stitches I do with, with, you know, certain projects I'm working on. So I think, <clears throat> and I don't know how, you know, pe how open people are to this, but my nan died a couple of years ago and there is always something that I'm looking for that is just 
it's not where I put it and I can swear to you my other half has not moved it because he knows how much hell he gets when you know I put something in a place and I it's, I put it there for a reason I want to I know where it is and he moves it and it's just it's just not worth his life doing it so he just doesn't touch anything in my room it just he just leaves it where it is I can 100% guarantee you this bag of drills was not on that bookshelf and then suddenly tonight bang it was just on my bookshelf I mean how weird is that do you not find that incredibly strange like what the hell I I literally picked it up and I was just like are you for real are you kidding me right now this was not here a couple of days ago I'm not an idiot I know I know what I was looking for I could not find this drill this bag of drills anywhere and then suddenly um suddenly it's on my bookcase there as if like it'd been there the whole time and it definitely wasn't so I think someone upstairs is laughing at me um, and having a bit of a, a laugh at my expense but I just thought I would um I would share that story with you because I just thought it was the most random strange thing ever but then um funnily enough I got a text from Sam saying oh how many you didn't tell me how many bags you needed and then I sent her a message back going you're not going to believe this but actually I'm really sorry like I didn't run out of drills at all you sent enough drills I just for some reason the bag of drills that I needed were temporarily misplaced somewhere and I've no idea where they were and then they just appeared now how weird is that but anyway on that note I'm gonna leave you be um I hope I haven't freaked you out too much but I just thought it'd be you know I just I just wanted to share that with someone because it was just so weird it's such a weird sensation to like to not have something and then it just to appear I mean it they were not there. I lit, I'd ripped, I'd taken the, everything off my, my bookcase. I'd gone through all of my planners in case they'd, they'd slip down. I'd gone, I'd taken the bookcase out. Um, they were not there. Simple as that. They weren't. It was weird. But anyway, I am going to love you and leave you. Um, I was actually thanking all my subscribers, actually. Thank you to all of my subscribers for um, subscribing to my channel. Um, I sent a video I put a video up on my Facebook actually of my next video that was going up for my diamond painting and um, work got a hold of it and um, my managers were like oh um oh I didn't realize you had a YouTube channel and this that, and the other and they went on to it they were like I said to them look I'm not being funny but it's totally not your thing it's like cross stitch and diamond painting and it's just gonna bore you to death and he was like yeah but like oh my god you've got like 650 subscribers and I was like, really? And I hadn't actually seen my subscribers for a long time because for some reason now I don't get um, acknowledgement um, when people subscribe. Um, so when I went on it, I was like, oh my God, I've got 650 subscribers. That was like crazy. I didn't expect, I know I know a lot of other people have got like tens of thousands of subscribers, but um, for someone like me who just does this as, um, you know a hobby I just I love showing the work I'm doing I love sharing my work with people I didn't ever expect to get that many subscribers maybe 30 40 yeah but um thank you so much to all of you who um subscribe to my channel it's just um it just leaves me with like a really nice feeling that there are people out there that are actually genuinely interested in the material that I'm sharing with you so thank you thank you so much and um I am going to leave it there because I'm now just waffling so have a lovely rest of the day guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.